So in this video, we'll be looking at the structure of a Google text ad that you would run for your search campaigns. Now over here, you can see the various sections of the text ads that I run for my campaigns. And the first thing is the final URL. The final URL is the landing page that's going to be the page that people land on when they click the ad. So it should be relevant to the keywords and the searches that people are using to find your products and services. Try not to send them to the home page because the home page tends to be more generic, whereas the specific landing page for your product or service will go into detail about what you offer and so on. If it doesn't, then you obviously need to work on it and improve it. The next feature is the headline one and headline one is a clickable part of your ad and this is a really important part of the ad because that's this is what people normally see and, and what they actually click on so in most cases you want to have your keyword in there as i have it here now this bracket curly brackets with keyword is a syntax it's known as dynamic keyword insertion so what it does is it replaces the keyword based on what the person is actually searched for. So if the if they've searched for something and it relates to a key, another keyword in the ad group, that keyword will be added in in the place of this one that's showing at the moment. The one that's showing AdWords Expert is a placeholder. It's the default one. So that's headline one. The thing about dynamic keyword insertion is you can use it anywhere, even in headline two or in part one, part two, and in the description. But it is normally most effective when it's in headline one. The next part is headline two, and this is sort of similar to headline one and will come up in the top part of your ad as well. Like headline one, it has a maximum of 30 characters. So try and use as much space as possible and include all the benefits and so on that you offer to your potential clients in your business. So in any ad, in any standard ad, these are the two parts that are clickable. And I'll take you over to the actual ad in the Google search results and you will see these two in action. The next feature is the part one and part two. Now, if you look over here, this is the dom my domain name and part one is a way to add keywords and part two as well. And these each have got 15 character spaces available to you. So if you see, I've added the keyword ad with expert and it's it makes your ad, your URL really look relevant to people who are searching and seeing the ad. So if you've got your keywords in there, they're more likely to click. Now this is a, what is known as a vanity URL. The actual URL they'll land on is this one. So even if the person sees this bit in the search results, that's not the actual URL. It's a vanity URL and it looks more appealing than the actual one if you compare that and this one. So these two are very important and a lot of people miss these out when they are setting up their ads. Finally, you have your description and your description is 80 characters limit. This is where you go into your benefits, your features, what people get and so on, and even include a call to action. So something like get in touch and so on. Call to action should be relevant to what you want people to do. And always try to speak to the needs that people have. So here I talk about increasing sales or leads. That's what most people in business are looking for. So include that in your ad. Now, when we come to the actual ad, this, this is the search results and this is what it's looking like from what we've just been looking at. So that's headline one ad with expert and then it's separated by that pipe and then get your free AdWords audit. So you can see that's headline one and headline two coming up right there and it's clickable. So if you look, you can click on it and it will take you through to the page. 
the description is not clickable as you can see here and the URL as you can see is not clickable and when we come to the find it to the URL the vanity URL I was talking about you can see part one and part two and this just makes it look more relevant to um, what people are actually searching for when they're searching for an AdWords expert and then you come to your description and it's it's all included in there and you can see that as I mentioned it's not clickable but some people do look at that description and they'll read before clicking through so it should be relevant now down here you can see these are known as ad extensions and we've got here we've got our call out extensions which have added to my ads so not all ad extensions will show up but it just depends on the position and your rank and so on and this is location extensions just showing you where we are based and if someone is based in Milton Keynes and if they see that they are more likely to click and contact us and sort of inquire about our services so that's the structure of a Google search text ad and it's important that you think through how you want to reach those people who are potential customers for your business